watch today a breakthrough into a possible cause of an illness that leaves some children paralyzed. Acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, causes severe muscle weakness and paralysis. Liz Collin explains how new research is getting doctors one step closer to understanding it. A lot of these children went to bed well. Parents had no concerns overnight. A spike in acute flaccid myelitis cases in Minnesota seemed to come out of nowhere. The State Department of Health says there is typically one case a year. Last year, there were 10. One of the children diagnosed was Quinton Hill from Lakeville. We spoke to his father last October after his son was hospitalized for two weeks. Extremely emotional. Obviously, the world seemed like it was crashing down. This can be really scary for families. Dr. Heidi Moline is chief resident of pediatrics at the University of Minnesota. She was the lead researcher on a new study about AFM in Minnesota. She says several viruses can cause the sickness. Nothing has been found in the fluid around the brain of these children until now. That's where researchers found a possible breakthrough called enterovirus D68. One of our cases was found that virus, and that really gives us the, that stronger correlation between acute flaccid myelitis and enterovirus D68. Enteroviruses are common infections leading to cough and congestion, symptoms Dr. Moline said all the children in the study had about a week before the diagnosis. While the study gives some insight into AFM, doctors are still trying to figure out exactly how kids are getting it and why there's been an increase in cases over the last year. We're still working on this and trying to learn as much as we can to help these families um, and us better understand the disease. In Minneapolis, Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. We check with Quentin's father today who says his son still has paralysis in his shoulder. They're waiting to see if movement comes back after a recent nerve replacement surgery. Dr. Moline says viruses spread through droplets in the air. She says it's another reason to wash your hands and cover your mouth when coughing.